Uh, hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are discussing whether you should keep your rabbits in cages or in a colony setup. Uh, there are a lot of people that feel that rabbits should not be kept in cages, that cages are not good for them. And the alternative way to keep rabbits other than keeping them in cages is to have them in a colony setup or in a rabbit tractor. So that's what we are going to be interrogating in this video. If you find this topic interesting, please stick around, consider liking a video, subscribe to the channel, share with a friend who also has interest in rabbit farming, as we look into the good and bad of this kind of system. So let's start with what's good with keeping uh, rabbits in groups. Uh, rabbits are social animals. They love to socialize and play and jump around. So when you're keeping them in an open place, uh, they are going to have that kind of freedom and jump around. Uh, secondly, you're going to spend a little time when feeding them because you're pouring water in one or two containers, you're pouring feeds in one or two containers, and you're done. Uh, the other thing is that uh, it's going to be cheaper to build this kind of setup uh compared to building separate cages for every rabbit so you're going to kind of cut cost on that uh, however what you need to do is uh, because rabbits are prey animals everything wants to eat a rabbit so you're going to ensure that uh, when you're making your colony uh, setup or your rabbit tractor you're going to ensure that they are not able to dig out uh, and also predators are not are not able to dig in. So you're going to ensure that you put up a very strong face around their rabbit uh, tractor or around their rabbit colony setup to ensure that themselves cannot dig out and, and go to the predators. Uh, the other thing is that rabbits sometimes are territorial, especially the, the females and the senior males. So you're going to have issues with fighting and sometimes rabbits can be brutal and injure each other. So when you just have them in a group, it's going to be challenging for you to keep them from fighting uh, because the males are territorial and also the females are. Now the second issue that, that you're going to experience if you're keeping your rabbits in a colony setup is going to be a risk of disease. Uh, since now you, all your rabbits are down on the floor and they are stepping in the droppings and the, in the urine, down there is going to be a breeding place for uh, parasites and bacteria. And you're going to end up with a sick rabbit. Uh, however much you try to keep the place clean, it's going to be time consuming for you to be removing the droppings and the urine all the time. So it's not sustainable for you to keep your rabbits in a colony setup and keep them clean at the same time. Uh, another thing that is related to the, the that point is also uh, when it comes to spread of disease. So if you have an outbreak of let's say ear mites and this is a common one with rabbits, uh, it's going to quickly spread through your entire herd because the rabbits are just together you cannot separate them uh, since that is the only setup that you have. So you're going to find that it's going to be very difficult for you to control diseases in that kind of environment. But also it's going to be very difficult for you to identify a sick rabbit. Uh, because the rabbits are just many in one room and they are moving up and down. It's going to be difficult for you to assess any behavior change in your rabbit. Uh, unless in a cage where you have a rabbit, you every time you come and watch it around you, you kind of know how your rabbit is behaving. You can easily sense that something is not well. Uh, the other point is going to come to the point when uh, if your rabbit is sick and you need to administer uh, medication, it's going to be very difficult for you to identify a rabbit that you gave uh, maybe a medication in the morning because you just have all of them bundled up together. So it's going to be difficult for you to treat diseases. It's going to be difficult for you to even identify them. So, and the rabbit is very delicate. The faster you act when it is unwell, 
the higher the chances that it is going to be well. Uh, the other point is going to be uh, another ch another challenge that you're going to face if you're keeping your rabbits in a colony setup is going to be the breeding. Okay, uh, you're not going to be able to control breeding for quality uh, outcome. Uh, remember now in a cage setup is that you have the males and females staying in separate rooms and you only breed the females to specific males where you get the best result. But in this, in, in this situation, all your rabbits are together. They are breeding regardless the age. You're going to end up with a total mess. Uh, the other thing, uh, that not being bad enough, you're going to have issues with related rabbits breeding. And this is what we call inbreeding. Now, how is inbreeding bad? Is you're going to find that you're going to come out with very weak rabbits. Uh, that are not uh, resistant to disease. So all these things come from the genes. So now when you have your rabbits being mixed up and breeding anyhow, you're not going to have any breeding lines. And this can also hurt you if you intend to be a breeder. Because remember, for you to be able to uh, sell quality breed, uh, these rabbits must have been carefully bred to get the best result. Uh, the other problem of having rabbits in a, in a colony setup is going to be feeding. Uh, now you're going to find that the dominant rabbits are going to bully the, the others and they deny them of eating the feeds. So you're going to have growth imbalances in your herd where the dominant males and females are actually eating the whole all the food and the other rabbits are, are eat, either eating what has been left or they go without any food. Uh, however much you try to provide enough feed, uh, first it may end up being very costly because now you're feeding more than what you should feed uh, due to a few rabbits eating more than they should be taking in. Then what is going to, to end up is that uh, your cost of production is going to shoot up and you may end up uh, failing to farm. There are actually very many shortcomings uh, when it comes to raising rabbits in a colony setup. And this is why we don't raise our rabbits in a colony setup and we prefer to raise them in cages. Because with cages, you are able to manage disease. Uh, you're also able to assure that you get um, the correct breeding uh, program for your bunnies you also able to avoid inbreeding you control spread of diseases uh, by isolating sick rabbits and having them in a sick bay the rabbits are given the feeds that they actually need to grow as you can portion feeds are uh, based on age based on weight uh, and also based on uh, the requirements of a rabbit uh, like you the way you feed uh, a pregnant rabbit is not the way you feed your male rabbit. So in general, we feel that keeping your rabbits in a cage system is going to be the best system for you to uh, farm rabbits and be able to have a success on your farm. If you've watched this video this far, guys, please consider subscribing to the channel. Turn on the notification bell so that when we upload the next content, you are notified. Uh, please like the video, share the video with a friend. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.